Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. I'm here with Dirty Dan. Howdy. And today we're going to be talking about dressing the part. The outlaw. That was a colon. Why are you always talking about your colon? No, no, I'm not talking about my colon. It's a punctuation mark. It's it was just like a week, two weeks ago, you had that colon thing that's sticking the camera. Okay, okay, okay. No, this is a punctuation mark, Dan. It's, it's, a, it's two dots that separate an idea from a subject. It's an explanation and numeration and it's no 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 all right folks we're at empire ranch today we've got some photographers here we got linda and we got shirley and we got carl over there so we got arizona red say hey arizona red hey arizona red. we got dirty dan and your host santi scourge of tucson as the Arizona Ghost Riders descended upon the Empire Ranch to volunteer at their annual fundraiser, it dawned on me that we all decided to dress as outlaws. Even though we all had a different interpretation of what an outlaw should be, we were all a little shady. We're doing a thing on dressing the part, the outlaw. Arizona Red, why don't you tell me what kind of outlaw you are today? Dirty. You're a dirty outlaw, okay. A dirty rotten outlaw. So... Sidewinding even. Sidewinding. Okay, well, speaking of dirty rotten card sheets, are you a wrestler, Dan? I am a wrestler. Okay. You're a different kind of outlaw. All right. So we had a gun for hire, a wrestler, and yours truly was a road agent. Riding the Alhoot Trail was a tough job, uh, if, if you could call it a job. What are you doing out here? I'm exercising my constitutional right to make the best possible living in a free market economy. There were times you would rake in a big haul, and others where misinformation made it not worth putting your life on the line. Well, heck, if you were caught, you could be hanged. Fat Jack, the rope isn't in Montana yet that's going to hang me. Oh, well, Santee, if you really want to get an outlaw in your picture, you ought to get your buddy Bill. <laughs> Whitney! Yeah, that'll teach you guys. I keep warning you. Cowboy attire is more than appropriate. But you might want to add a little something that indicates you dally on the wrong side of the law so the audience can tell. Of course, bank robbers like the James Younger Gang and the Dalton Gang could get away with wearing large coats or maybe even dusters to hide firearms because they didn't want to call attention to themselves. To be an outlaw, you have to think like an outlaw. If you were robbing in the same area that you lived, then you'd better disguise yourself or you'd be recognized. You go as a riverboat captain and I'll be a saloon girl. Some outlaws like Black Bart and Bill Brazelton did just that. Dark clothes were great for concealing yourself at night. A light shirt or hat will catch the moonlight and betray your position. Also, tight clothing is a little too constricting, so a loose vest or jacket is preferred in case a full range of motion is needed. If you're evading the law or the military, carry some saddlebags with supplies for a long chase. And the bartender says, why the long face? Because <laughs> you're a horse. Get that? It's a tough joke to sell. If your clothing's ripped or faded, even better. Outlaws ran their horses through brush and thorns, slept on the cold ground, and trudged through all kinds of weather. So, grunge is in. Regardless, there are lots of choices to make when dressing like a rapscallion. If you're in town casing the bank and gathering intelligence, you might dress up a bit to not call attention to yourself. Many of these scalawags that frequented the West learned their trade during the Civil War when they terrorized the countryside as guerrillas. No, wrong, wrong gorillas. Ugh. Now for the ladies. Women outlaws weren't the norm in the West, but they are highly accepted in the reenactment community. So have at it. Hey, if you're looking for ideas, I would visit Ravenna's New and Old West Vestures for some great bad girl attire. You can see that link in the description field down below. Okay, folks, I hope you learned something about the outlaw. He certainly did. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Where are we going? Where are we going?